So we're here today at Powerbeck Gym in Lee, and I'm coming to meet one of my oldest friends in bodybuilding, Mr. Paul Crook. He's the current IFBB head judge, and he owns Powerbeck Gym. So Paul's agreed to put me through my paces today. We're gonna to do a full upper body workout, and we're gonna show you around the gym, see what changes he's made since I've last been here, and have a really hardcore training session. Let's go and find Paul. Hey Paul, how are you doing, man? Hey Kirk, how are you? Good to see you. Looking well? You good? Yeah, good, mate, good. Hey, looking so, well? Thank you. Yeah, I'm trying to run week six, so uh, oh, yeah. slowly coming in now. Been doing a bit of cardio, uh, gradually increasing my weights every week, so it's getting there. So, um, how much have you lost now? I've lost, um, I was 124 kilos, I'm now 113. Oh, right, So, brilliant. probably about 26, 7 pounds, something like that. Fantastic. So, I'm getting there. Are you coming in? You can yeah, see, yeah. see you coming back. Uh, no, you're you're back on stage, stage one day. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've not been here for, I think it was about three years last time I come. Yeah, yeah, it's been a while, yeah. Have you made any changes to the gym? And Yeah, we, uh, obviously, the lockdowns hit us. Yeah. Uh, we got some government grants. Yeah. So I just spent it on new equipment. Oh, that's great. So we got a brand new set of dumbbells, barbells, straights, uh, curls. Uh, we got some more back equipment uh, over here. Yeah. Uh, we got the ISO press that's from uh, Mr. Pritchard at yeah, Power Zone. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, which fits in with all the rest of the yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then we got some more leg equipment. Uh, basically, more, just more. Of, of what people want. Yeah, so Powerbeck's notoriously a hardcore bodybuilding gym. Um, you've got pretty much everything here to succeed on stage, haven't you? Yeah, it, it, you, when you come in, you get that old school feel of a uh, bodybuilding gym. Yeah. But obviously with, with, with all the modern twist to it and stuff like yeah, that, yeah, yeah. so it's, yeah. it's where I've always trained in these sorts of gyms, yeah. always enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, and you tend to find you get a good family atmosphere yeah, of all yeah. lads who, who just love training, really. Yeah. So I, I think I first came here around about 2006, I think it was. You yeah. think you had the store next door. Yeah, we um, just opened that. I think we've been open a year there. And I think you, you guys at the time was what inspired me to actually get into the, uh, into the supplement industry and, um, and kind of change the, the job I was doing at the time and, and go down that road. So uh, it's great coming back here and uh, where it all started for me in a way. Well, it's, and, it's, uh, it's weird that we switched roles because you was my customer. <laughs> yeah. And now I'm your <laughs> customer. I know, I know yeah. <laughs> So uh, no, it's, it's weird how it's turned out, but like I said, the gym definitely looks good. You can see it's freshly painted. Uh, do you want to show us around a little bit? Just, just show us around a couple of the yeah, machines definitely. and stuff, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Uh, one of our biggest new features is we got another cable crossover in, because okay. obviously on a busy night, you only need one lad on cables and everyone tends waiting. So yeah. when I put pictures up, I did a few pictures around gym, guess what's new. Yeah. First thing everyone went is, wow, you got another cable crossover. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. you know, that's good. Um, I bought a brand new set of dumbbells and I thought, should I sell the old dumbbells? The prices had gone through the roof with lockdown and I thought, you know what, I'm, I'm just going to yeah. keep them. Yeah. You can never have too much weight. What's, what weight did you go up to? Because there's some big dumbbells I can see over yeah, there. Yeah, we, we, I, I got the new ones up to 50s, yeah. uh, courtesy of Jordan. All yeah. the dumbbells are Jordan, to be fair. Yeah. Which one what I rate. And then we got some specials, the wow. bigger dumbbells, they go up to 90 kg. Wow. So they've got dust on them. <laughs> Let's dust them off today then. They have actually, they have been lifted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but not Probably. by me for a long time. No, no. <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's nice, uh, compact gym. Like yeah. I say, it's got everything what you need yeah. from just your average guy who wants to just come and do a little bit of training yeah. uh, and then obviously our way up to uh, pro stand if you want to yeah. compete get on stage. You, you've, you've had uh, Jane Tingle, she, she still trained, she trained here for quite some time. Jane trained here for yeah. a while, she's at IFBB Pro yep. uh, and with um, me judging for the IFBB as well, yeah. I do get quite a few different pros coming down, yeah. having a look around and chatting yeah. and stuff like that. So. Yeah. Because you've got a studio which we're going to see afterwards where I tend you can have a look through some of the posing routines and that's right yeah, yeah. If, if you know if anyone's getting ready for sure I, I invite them down if yeah. they want to use our posing studio for free they can do yeah. or if they want me to have a quick look at home I don't mind yeah great um, yeah so it's uh, we've got a bit of everything yeah uh, if you want to have a look through I'll take you through yeah. to the new studio yeah let's have a look through the new studio 
Obviously this is our shop. Yep. Shops here, fully stocked, chemical warfare. Oh yeah, it's us. We do we do stock it all brands yeah. to be fair. Um everything which is popular, we, we try and get it, we try and sell it. Yeah. Uh anything which is on the shelves, I've tried myself. So, yeah. you know, I know it works. Yeah. Nice little seating area. Yep. Yeah. And then this was the MMA room which I've now turned into a yes, functional was, studio. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we used to have a big I cage that, yeah. and it was very smelly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we've ripped everything out. Uh, obviously we've, uh, we've got a lot of new equipment in here. Yeah. Someone else, what we bought in lockdown, we put all the bags up yeah. uh, and we do f functional training in here, IPT out of here. Mm -hmm. And then as and when the classes are allowed on, I think it's from 18th of May, mm -hmm. we do circuit. Uh, boot camp okay. uh, and then I do a lot of one-on-one -on -one stuff in here so yeah. all, all the gym members that they can just come in set their own circuit up yeah. which is more and more popular you know you're not tied into a CrossFit membership which is ridiculous money yeah. it's all in with our membership so they can yeah. just come in set up their own thing yeah. uh, and just like daft little things the peloton runner the skier versi climber yeah, and stuff yeah. like that it all adds to the uh, overall experience of, of getting fit and yeah. having something for everyone. I love the fact that the light's coming through the ceilings, especially as an ex-bodybuilder. <laughs> if the, once the light's right, it really does show up uh, the physique yeah. well done it, so. Yeah, I'm we, gonna keep veering towards the lights today. Uh, we, we've fully <laughs> spotted up everywhere. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. We've, we've got like a prime spot here for yeah. anyone who, who does wanna come in and do the pausing. Yeah. They can link the music straight up yeah. and they can come and they can pause as often as they want. And That's you good. know, just, just keep That's a great. check on them. I mean, it's really difficult as well. It's a lot of people who are watching this who've competed. Uh, the posing side of it's something that's quite neglected by a lot of the b beginning kind of athletes. And to hold poses on stage is actually very difficult. And you've got to, yeah. you've got to train towards it, haven't you? Yeah, um, a, a, a proper posing routine is a full workout, mm. you know, and it, it's, it's the nervous part of the bodybuilding. You know, stepping out on stage, uh, you've only got a bikini or you've just got shorts on. There's a, an audience as and when yeah. they're there, then you've got to remember a set routine. Yeah. Uh, what I tend to say a lot to athletes is, listen, we don't know your routine. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if you make it up. Yeah. You know, just get out there, enjoy yourself. You know, get a, a, a main framework of what you need to do, get your compulsory pauses in, yeah. and then it's just movement through music. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, you know, it's, yeah. to us, it's, you think, oh, it's quite simple. To a lot of athletes, it's nerve wracking. Well, I think that's the thing. I mean, I remember a lot of the pros as well who didn't, but this is going back a few years now. They used to come out with fantastic physiques, but some of the posing was really wooden and yeah. kind of ruined the whole, uh, you know, experience they were giving off on stage. Yeah. So how important would you say is it right now with the posing side of it, it to really, how, you know how many hours a week do you think you should spend on it if you were you, you, you put Your posing is very important mm. because when you step out on stage, mm. you may be on stage for a few minutes. Yeah. So you've got 16 week prep, you've got all your diet, all your hard work, all your training, mm. your supplement regime, your eating, sleeping and everything pattern all for three minutes on stage, yeah. you know, and that three minute is the mid, the time when you show us what you've got and through yeah. presentation of your posing and that, yeah. that's where you hit your right angles, you show off all your good bits, you try and hide your weak spots. Yeah. So your actual posing routine is mega important that you hit it right. Yeah. You know, your compulsory poses, practice, practice, practice. You've got yeah. to get them right. If you come out on stage and you look wooden yeah. and all of a sudden you're not posing correctly. Yeah. You know, if, if you're double bicepping too far back yeah. and the judges are sat down there, we can't see that bicep and we can only judge you for what we see yeah. on stage within them minutes. Yeah. You know, you can't think, well, I saw him in gym and he looked mint and, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, the potential's there if they, it had dropped a few extra pound of water and stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's the most key thing yeah. for getting right. So, like you said before, anyone who wants to come to see Paul, uh, how do they get in touch? Do they just, do they just ring up and book yeah, him? Yeah, yeah, they, 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 they can go on our Facebook. Yeah. Uh, I'm on Instagram as Chalkdog13. A lot mm -hmm. of people do know me on, on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, they can just give us a message, you know, I'm always up for helping people uh, Even if it's just what do you think or you, which class should I go in and yeah. stuff like that? Yeah, but awesome. I don't coach. I don't do any coaching no, whatsoever. No. Uh, it's just really ad advice Yeah, and obviously we offer it all free. Yeah, that's fantastic. 
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed our little tour around power bike. We'll uh, head into the uh, refractory area and we'll uh, get our pre-workouts and get ready for training. How's that sound? Brilliant. Awesome. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Let's do it. So we've uh, we've just had a look at your Kirk and uh, you you six, nice. six weekend yeah six week for go yeah uh, looking good mate I'll be honest nice. with you yeah yeah very good considering you, your size what you started at yeah it was your nineteen stone in nineteen eight yeah yeah so obviously you're coming in nice your body fat was, uh, percentage is coming down yeah. you've retained a lot of muscular size you, yeah. you, to be fair you're a big guy you, yeah. you know. Um, you can carry a lot of muscle, but if if it's if you've got layers of fat over the top of it, mm. you just never see it. Yeah. But when that reduction starts coming in, yeah. the more you come down, the actual bigger you look. Yeah. So you could drop, say, you drop another twenty eight pound, uh -huh. and people will go, "Wow, you've, you've put a lot of size on." Yeah. You've not. You're just showing what That's you've right. got. Yeah. Um, but I think your plan of not reducing too fast. Uh, is a definite uh, advantage for yourself yeah. just for it retain as much muscle tissue as possible yeah you tend to see a lot of people who over diet yeah. and they sacrifice muscle tissue mm -hmm. for what it says on the scales you yeah. know and they oh yeah I've, I've lost three stone well unfortunately you, you know you've gone from this shape down to a smaller version of yourself yeah. you've not changed shape and it's all about the change in shape yeah. losing the body fat uh retaining the muscle tissue and obviously keeping a, a good amount of strength that's right for allow you for train hard yeah. get your cardio in and stuff like that i've been um, when i've been training i've been um, i've been pb in every session so um i've been very meticulous with my planning and everything and that's actually encouraging me to to keep going to the gym so it's like i'm gonna go and push a bit yeah. heavier this yeah, week yeah. i think the reason, like I said to you before about the food, if I dropped the food or did too much cardio, um, I wouldn't be able to do that. And I'm really enjoying that. Yeah. You know, because I'm not going to compete at the end of it. I've got to, I've got to, this PB and kind of thing is just making me more uh, excited every day to get back into the gym again. So yeah. it's, uh, it's I, tricky, I, isn't it? I always get? said to people that that's, that's the key thing of when you start training, you start dieting, or even if you're new into a gym, the, the key thing is enjoying the yeah. training. You know, you don't want to, go in and um, think, right, I've got to do three sets of 10. Yeah. And you go, one, two, three, four, five, six, 10. Right, I've done it. You know, it, that time when it's, it's your turn is, is, is your turn. Yeah. Enjoy every rep, make them count, think about what you're doing. Yeah. Uh, and when that enjoyment comes and you're waking up, giddy and I must admit, you know if I think of a new chest routine yeah, yeah. I wake up giddy and I'm like, I, can't, I can't wait get in gym that's great. I want to try this out oh, can I lift that can I do this yeah. that's when you know you're, you're on point and that's when you yeah. know you'll succeed in whatever goal you set yourself yeah. uh, is because of the enjoyment factors behind it's it it's like I think anything as well business anything you do you've got to really love it haven't you yeah of course and, uh, yeah. and the yeah. gym I, I fell out of love with the gym in 2010 uh, starting my business uh, had my injuries with my pec um, and I'd, I'd done it for 12 years straight and I just kind of thought, well, I'm just not enjoying it anymore. Yeah. I've competed every six months and that, obviously this time out and then not being able to train due to my testosterone issues, now I can. It's just the best feeling. Yeah, yeah. You feel... I, mean, I think you do cycle yeah, it. I yeah, fell out with training. Yeah. A couple of times, yeah. moved into other areas, uh, completely stopped lifting weights and just did uh, running... Uh, cycling and swimming went into a triathlon mm. did local triathlon did international triathlon yeah. did, did you do an Ironman? Uh, no it was a half Ironman oh, over yeah. in, in uh, Paguera in yeah. Spain uh, absolutely loved it it was yeah. hard work loved it at the time uh, and then fell back in love with weights yeah, again yeah, so you, you go full yeah, circle yeah. I, think, I, think I think you'll you. always you'll always come back to weight training yeah. you know it's it's one of the hardest things to do, but yeah. it's one of the most enjoyable things to do as and, well. And I mean, you're looking well. You, I mean, I've, from where I saw you uh, the last show last year, it looks like you significantly put a lot more muscle on. Yeah, so. for, for triathlon, I was dropping into the, the wow. 11 stone yeah. mark. Uh, I'm, I'm currently at 14.7. I've maintained my weight. Yeah. Um, strength's going up. I'm yeah. loving my training. So... Not that I'm training for anything, not for compete or anything. It's yeah. just, just the, sa the side effect of yeah, the, the enjoying yeah. the training is getting yeah, looking yeah, better as well. It, yeah, yeah, no, it's quality. So today I'm uh, I'm doing an upper body. Uh, as everyone's known, I'm doing a full body training, but my legs are very very tight at the moment. Um, so I'm just going to do upper body today. Paul's obviously going to jump in with me, and push push each other as uh, best we can, Definitely. and uh, we're awesome. going to have a very hardcore workout. Awesome. Let's go awesome, 
turn for Jared. So, are we, are we following your plan, or do you? Yeah. I do a lot of volume training. You see, so you can do whatever you want. I'll yeah. just do my bit, and then you do your oh, bit. I know yeah, yeah. We'll just, you just. And then you have a little go at my bit. Yeah, well, I can do. Yeah. 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 Right, whatever, whatever you want to do. Yeah. Yeah, ten foot five volume training works a lot better for me. Yeah. Not. We, I still do go heavy at times, but medium weight, a yeah. lot of volume. Right. Uh, I, you can absolutely crucify even big lads with this. Yeah. They just can't do it. They've not got the stamina or the muscle uh, uh, density for, for bring it up. Right. Whereas you ten foot fine, a big lad, uh, they'll do a set of ten yeah. with a lot of weight, and they'll probably outlift me. Right. But you say, I'll tell you what, let's put a medium weight on and we'll do 100 reps, yeah. straight out 100. You know, they go, yeah, yeah, I'll easily do that. And they get into 50 and they just blow it out of the arse. Can't do it, they're not fit no. enough. So a volume training gives you your cardio, of course. as well as obviously keeping yeah, yeah, your strength. Yeah. and bang your uh, slimy on, yeah. So how many times are you training a day, did you say? Did you? I can train up to three times a day. Yeah. Uh, I do my own personal training about half seven in the morning. Yeah. That's bodybuilding. Uh, and then I'll ten foot do cardio straight after that for an hour. And then I'll do another cardio session at night. Um, but when I PT, uh, if I PT people on weights, I, I can't just stand here, I'll always jump in and do it with them, show them how to do it, show them where to get the squeeze, the breathing and stuff would like you, that. Would you say that the, uh, the Iron Man uh, intensity training has kind of affected your mindset so you can, because oh, it's a lot of training what you're doing, isn't yeah. it, even now? Yeah, 100%, yeah. Uh, like I say, that's how your volume training comes yeah. into its own. Uh, it's really boring for you just lifting like uh, heavy weights for a few reps, wouldn't it? I suppose with you doing the whole endurance kind of pushing boundaries. Yeah, thing. It's, it's not so much boring. It, it is, it is good. You still yeah. buzz off it, but yeah. <clears throat> I mean, like recently we've just been uh, working into a new deadlifting plan, yeah. and uh, my weights were going up and up. I was confident. I was, I was loving it. Injured myself, which then messes all my other training. Yeah, of course. Up. I've not been able to get on my spin bike or go out on my normal bike. Yeah. I'm restricted in what I could do in here. Whereas I tend to find volume training, yeah. you just get a, a good pump, yeah, good muscular build, yeah. uh, but you never injure yourself. Yeah. So, would you would you still say you kind of get the same? It's so obviously my my point at the moment is obviously to gain muscle. Would you say volume training is better once you've gained the muscle, once you've got it like yourself? No, no, I, th I think volume training gains your muscle. You think? Yeah. Yeah, L lifting heavy weights is good if you're yep. a strong man. Yeah. We're not strong men, we're, yeah. we're, we're bodybuilding. Yeah. And the art of bodybuilding is more medium weight, high reps. Yeah. Uh, creating the environment for the muscle for grow, yeah. and then you stop. Yeah. You know, strong men just want to lift big weights. Yeah, so. <laughs> so and it's say, it's a it difference. Really. And obviously volume training gives you extra strength. Yeah. It makes you stronger, because you're breaking down muscle tissue. You're gaining more mass. Yeah. Uh, so when you do, so we'll, go on, we'll, we'll have a different, uh, we'll have a different experience today. Yeah. Let's get three, four plates on bench and see yeah, if we yeah. can lift it. Yeah. All of a sudden you think, fucking, I can, I can lift it. It's, <laughs> it, it's now suddenly become easier. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. So far. So that, that's like a traditional 10 reps per yep. set. as like a nice warm up. Yep. So what I like doing now is start increasing the rep range. Uh, maybe go a bit heavier, but then start increasing it. 10 reps, 15 reps, 20 reps, 25 reps. Mm -hmm. uh, and just keep pushing that limit for doing more. And you'll do a 15 rep set and you're like, you're, you're pushing it out and you think, oh, how hard work that. But well, then all of a sudden your next set's a 20 set yeah. and you're getting into 18 yeah, yeah, before, yeah. You, before you're thinking the same yeah, thing. Yeah, you. And you think, well, hold on, I've just done three reps more 
and what it would do in, and then you, you're four sets, you're 25 sets, yeah, yeah. and you're only failing at 22. 22. So you think, well, how many could have I actually have done, and how much is it in your mind to, to, your, to your, your body actually okay. giving it up? So it's that fine line from so what do you physical normally, failure what, to what mental failure. What do you normally do on there? Would you stick an extra, what, 10 on? <clears throat> what, 10, for, rep, for, 10, plate, 10 kilo or something. For doing then, volume, yeah. uh, I'd probably put at least another plate another on plate. and then do, do some volume. What are you thinking of, like 15? 15 reps, 20 yeah. kilo plate, 15 reps. Yeah, like, we'll like, give that a go if you want. Let's have a little go at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. So obviously your breathing is important, your form's important. That's it, just your seat. Ooh, Sometimes I find a lot of people hold the breath while they train. You don't get that breathing, mate. But it's the same like I said before, you know, if I set a 15 rep limit, People think they've got to get to 15 reps as fast as possible. Yeah. And then 40, 50, I'm done. And it's like, why have you just wasted your set? Yeah. You know, enjoy it. It's designed for it to make you fail. Good. Feel that? Ooh, yeah, yeah. I've been doing uh, ten reps. Uh, it was 10, 10 reps on my on my heavy. Then I've been doing fifteen to twenty on my volume. So yeah. I reckon that's helped me a little bit there. Yeah. Because if you're just training ten reps, you're past ten. Yeah, I and mean, you, uh, you'll limit yourself to ten, and yeah. you'll do ten. Yeah, of course. You know, it's very rare. You said to someone do ten reps and they do eleven. Yeah. But they could have maybe done 15. Absolutely. So w when when you start the train rolling, why stop it Absolutely. before you get to your end result? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ideally, you, you want to you want to train until you've got physical failure, not yeah. mental failure. Yeah, true. Mental failure is the number 10. Yeah. Physical failure might be 15, 16, but when you can't lift it anymore. There's a, there's a tip that I used to do. Uh, I count backwards. You know, so I'm doing 20. Yeah. And I find it's a lot easier than going 15, 16. Yeah. When yeah, you're going. Yeah. Five, four, yeah, three, you, two. You, it mentally you, just you seems a lot easier. Yeah. The, the yeah. end is, is coming near. Yeah. And another little tip trick, which is really hard to do, is don't count. <laughs> <laughs> and you and just go off the feeling. So you can't lift yeah. anymore. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Yeah. So what would look at me now? What's the difference between me lifting this and you lifting it? Think of posture. Well, I can't see what I was looking like. Was I a bit more forward from the head down? Your head. Yeah. 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 You, you train like a lot of people do. Yeah. With the red off the bench. Yeah. And you put so much strain in your neck. Yeah. Where sometimes you can do a chest workout, wake up in the morning, and you think, yeah. my neck's so stiff. Yeah, yeah. It's because of how you hold yeah. yourself. So if, if, if you can, you're training chest, only use chest. Yeah. We don't want that Relax strain. Everything. Yeah. Get everything else nice and relaxed. Okay. I'll try the next set. Yeah. What do you want to go up to on the next one, Paul? Uh, wait, so you can either stay at that weight and do more volume, or we can switch over to yours, whichever. Well, move over at your gym, let's do it your way. All right then. Yeah, you 20 reps. 20 reps, right. Get a drink. I did. <laughs> <laughs> So think about that relaxation of that head. Get it back. Another thing athletes tend to find hard to get their head round is when you said don't push with your arms, push with your chest. You tend to see a lot of people putting shoulder, bicep, forearm into this exercise. And if you press it with your chest, you'll get it up easier. Go on. Yes. Go on. Come on. Bring it out. Bring it out. Fucking hell. Again. Push. Fucking hell. Again. Push. Come on. Okay, bro. Good. Fucking hell. 18. Good, good, good. Fuck. So that volume builds up pretty fast. Yeah. I think I got some narrow thought. Oh. So, <laughs> if we'd have put more weight on that yeah. and done 10 reps, yeah. 
So you times the weight by the, the, the amount of reps you've done, that's your work done. Yeah. Yeah. By not putting the weight on but increasing the rep range, yeah. your work done yeah. is a hell of a lot more. Oh, yeah. You know, that Absolutely. means your muscle's been under stress for a longer period of time. Yeah. You've asked it for do more, it's had for perform even more. Yeah. And because of that extra performance, you've got to grow muscle tissue. Yeah, I agree. Them signals just get sent for yeah. say, whoa, what are you doing here? I suppose everything's got its place, hasn't it? Like heavy training's good to build the initial strength up, the yeah. high volume training to build the endurance up. Definitely. Bit by bit, swap it around. This endurance will give you your, 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 your cardio uh, response as well. It makes you fitter. Yeah. And the fitter you are doing weights, the more yeah, you can push. Oh. <sighs> so I defy anyone for do a, a full volume workout. Uh, and then they go, what do you do for cardio? <laughs> this is cardio and strength absolutely, training yeah, together. Yeah. You can tell. I can feel it already. You sweat. Yeah. You, you're absolutely pouring yeah. with sweat. Yeah. And you think, I'm only lifting once. So why am I sweating so much? Yeah. I suppose, like you said before, you're reducing the chance of injury as well. Which yeah, of course you are. Yeah. <sighs> This is what I mean by pushing with your chest. Yep. That squeeze there yeah. is taking the arms out of it and it's all into that pec. So push, squeeze, yep. get that squeeze out. You tell you feel like you've been ripped apart yeah. here. But it's that press with your chest yeah. and keeping the bicep quite relaxed. Yeah. So you're not putting all that pressure in here and no yeah. delt look. Yeah. If anyone does bench press and just have the shoulders up. Yeah. You, you're not bench pressing. No. The shoulder pressing. Yep. You know, you bring your front delt into it, which your body will do. It'll find the easiest way to do anything. You can bring that front delt in and push like that. Yeah. So it's so important when you get on a bench, either this or a traditional bench, you've got to retract them shoulders. Yeah. Get them right back. Get your chest out and push from your chest. Yeah. Any more on this or are we... 25 uh, reps. <laughs> 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 Fucking hell. No. Right. You got 18 last time. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you, in your head now you're going to fail the 25. Yeah. Let's see what we can get. Okay. Come on. Your body knows what's coming. <sighs> yeah. You now move your boundary from 20 okay. to 25. Okay. So we want to be failing around 22 now. Okay. I might try a bit of a rest pause on this as well, just to see if I can get through it. Yeah? Oh. Yeah, don't rush it. No. Keep that in your head though, about the chest pushing. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Retract them shoulders, get them nice and tight back. Okay. You want to try and feel your shoulder blades on the back of that bench. Okay. <sighs> Alright, come on, Kirk. Mm. Positive mm. mental attitude. Head back. <sighs> Breathe. That's it. Push with that chest, get that squeeze. Come on. Good. Squeeze. Come on. Again. Again, come on. Keep coming. Again. Come on, get them partials. Push. Come on, bring it out. Again. Oh. Again. Okay. Again. One more. Push, 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 push. That would have been 22, that fucking. Did you see what I mean? How you can exceed your own limits? Yeah. Four. Oh, God. It's amazing that how, uh, how fatigued I feel after those two sets. Yeah. Absolutely fucking ruined the fight. Yeah, yeah. Great. <laughs> I've had some big 20 odd stone guys come in. Yeah. And we, we do some at uh, a bench press challenge. Got a big thick bar, it's 30 kilo. Just put 20 kilo side on. Yeah. And so uh, you've got five minutes to do 100 reps on that. And they say, easy. That's 30 reps in. Yeah. Think you, well, they, they try and do 100 reps in one yeah. go. And they failed, they failed. Yeah. and then they can't do it. I, I got the gym record 
uh, I think it was two minutes twenty eight something like that. Fuck it, off hundred reps with twenty kilos a side. Yeah. Twenty five then Paul, yeah. Yeah. Easy. So it's 20. 20, yeah. I can feel it. Good. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Push. Come on. Sick. Come on, in again. Let's go. Take. Come on. Yeah. Oh. Right. Easy. <laughs> I wouldn't say easy. <laughs> oh, you made it look easy. But <laughs> enjoyable. Yeah, you know yeah, you've yeah. trained your chest. Yeah. I think my major worry was because uh, I tore my pet tendon off the bone. When I try and train heavier, like as in pushing my um, six rep, 10 rep max, I always have a, a feeling in the back of my mind like, yeah. am I gonna, am I, is something gonna go here? Whereas well, when I'm doing this, yeah. you don't. Even though it's not quite a decent weight, yeah. it's purely, uh, you can push as far as you wanna push, but I don't feel like anything's gonna break. No. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a nice, uh, it's got a comfort, a comfort feeling when you're still trying to push through a, a failing point, but you, you, you know. can still fail off this sort yeah. of weight. Yeah. And to be fair, for an average guy, that's heavy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it's not lightweight that. No. It's still a decent amount of weight. I mean, I do believe like I said, the muscle memory thing was, was massive for me. So I think when I met you, I was I was into my training quite a lot, and uh, it's took me a while just to because I've been training um, in the lockdown with what I had. Yeah just to get the feel back for lifting weights, you know what I mean? But yeah. when I've got to a gym, especially like the machines like this, where you can really isolate the movement, it's, uh, it's encouraging like how quickly I'm progressing with it. Yeah. And I do put that down just to my previous training like 10 oh, years yeah, ago. Oh yeah, 100%, uh, yeah. Yeah, your muscle does have memory. And you know, it knows where you've been before, where yeah. your limits are, pushing yeah. through them limits. Yeah. That, that's the main thing. I always tell people, if you think you can walk up to a gate, when all your gains are over that gate, yeah. you've got to smash through that absolutely. gate. And every session we've got to smash absolutely, through that absolutely, gate. Absolutely, absolutely. And that's what we were saying before, it makes it so enjoyable. Yeah. Because you get up in the morning, you're like, I'm going to fuck it. If it's, it's one more rep. I'm going to push this. Yeah, if what, if one it's rep? one more kilo. One rep, yeah. You know what I mean? It's progression every yeah, time. Yeah, absolutely. Good. It's, a nice yeah. Yeah. it's good. It's good. You can tell Paul's got loads of experience training. Um, the volume training is different. You know, I've, I've been training to try and increase my uh, six to ten rep, uh, rep uh, strength. So doing that uh, is completely different, but it feels good. I mean, I was gassed after two sets, you know. I wasn't expecting to be ruined after my first exercise. But um, Where's he gone now? I've just got to pretend that it's no problem, because Paul looks like he means business in there. Uh, I've got to make sure that I finish this workout strong. You just want to get it lined up. Yeah. 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 So we want it in the shoulders, not okay. in the chest. Yeah. But you're still on a slight angle. Yeah. So it just emulates this, a dumbbell yeah. press. Yeah, perfect. Without, the acid Perfect. trying to throw them up. Oh wow. Just have a little go at that. Yeah, yeah. Stretch. Definitely. Then roll forward. Yeah. That's it. Oh wow. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, that's great, isn't it? Is it this is new like you said, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's new and nice. bad powers on. That's nice. I'll let me just get some reps out so to warm up. Yeah, just warm it up. Yeah. And it's Chris and Andy's new baby. Yeah, one. yeah. It's nice this. They've made quite a lot of good equipment, haven't they, Power Zone? Over years, yeah. yeah. To, be, to be fair, I always stick to uh, yeah. Pritchard stuff. Yeah. Um, first lot of stuff I bought off him, I had 16 years. Yeah. He's still going strong in a gym in, in Scotland. Uh, Dave had labour, bought yeah. a lot of new kit. I bought Dave's kit. Yeah. Uh, so, this I've had for a few years now. Yeah. Um, never breaks, perfect no. order. That yeah, angles as well, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, his angles are brilliant. Yeah. He, that, Right, he's been in the game a long time, yeah. Andy. Well, he definitely knows what he's doing. Yeah. Uh, 10 15 to start with. Yeah, yeah, should we put a 15, 15 on? Yeah. Just, just so as you get a feel for it. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll just do what, 10 reps. Range, 10 reps, yeah. Start with 10. I'll just follow your training yeah, today, mate. 15, yeah, 20. Yeah. Oh, man. I'll 
Dr. Swanee, I'm very strong on shots. Are <laughs> you? <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> well, that's a challenge then, isn't it? <laughs> So it just slides into it. That's looking well there, Paul. I know, yeah. Uh, okay, good. No. Like I say, I only train for myself. It's not for yeah. the, the the looking good. Is is the, is the secondary part of it. Yeah. Whereas you tend to find a lot of lads train to look good, and they get over obsessed about how they look. Yeah. So the training goes to pot. Yeah. They're only ever thinking. Oh, do I look good at this angle? Do I look good yeah, at this yeah, angle? Yeah. And you know, most of the time they're in, they're in mirror. It's like, listen, yeah. fucking wank, what are you playing at? So, Strick a tan on. Yeah. We'll do a bit of volume with this. Yeah. So, next set, 15 reps. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, fine, yeah. yeah should be fine with this. This, you'll start adopting this into your own training. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Well, the thing is, what I've got to remember. He's had that many injuries. I want to do. I, I want this to be for the long term. Yeah. The strength thing's been great, but I always worried oh, like. This is long term training, this right? Yeah. I mean, um, you got to think. The older you get, yeah. The more point you are to injury. Absolutely. I'm 50 next year. Are you? Yeah. I'm 50 okay, next year, yeah. and you know I want to stay injury free yeah. because I want to be still training through some yeah, yeah, Absolutely. So. You know, egos went with me a long time yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. I'm not bothered if I lift five key off and can lift hundred key. Yeah. You know, it's I'd rather just yeah, lift yeah. safe and, yeah. and look good from it. Yeah. Oh, <sighs> Fifteen reps, let's go. go. Get your rhythm. Yeah. Once that rhythm goes, don't yeah. stop. Yeah. Just keep pressing. Yeah. It's not ever. You can do this. Yeah. Get ready. Go. Good. That's it. So keep them rolled forward. Push. Go on. Push three. Good. Go on. Breathe. Ah. Come on. Ah, one more. You, how are you? Oh. Up. Yes. Yes, roll them on. Ooh. Good shot, Ooh. good shot. Well done. Whew. What are you going on to now? 20 reps. 20 reps. Oh, that's not so bad, that. We can do that. Yeah. So we've you done don't the need to increase that weight, do you? No. Really, we've hours. done the easy set. Yeah, yeah. Now you've done your middling set. Yeah. Now we've got two working sets for go. Okay. So, another important thing what I always do is I'll stretch the muscle before I go into my next set. Yeah. You'll often see me around gym, weird positions, yeah. pulling your shoulders down, yeah. getting your chest out, yeah. you know, get your positioning right. It's all about thinking about what you're going to do, how you're going to do it next. Yeah. Okay. Don't just jump on a machine. Uh, and go, oh, you just do that. Yep. You know, it's, it's a lot of body mechanics what you've got to think about. You're breathing, you're positioning, you know, how much strength to put in so you don't burn out and stuff like that. Yeah. Come, Paul, 20 reps. Easy. Come on, <laughs> you're laughing at me, aren't you? <laughs> Have you took some weight off these? <laughs> I'm only joking. So <laughs> <laughs> Dave just slipped the fives off. Nice, <laughs> <laughs> right, so oh, come on. Okay. Let's get it in our head what we're doing. We're going to smash this 20 reps now. <sighs> get your rhythm. Once yeah. that rhythm comes, push. Yeah. Remember what we're pushing with here, shoulder workout. Get them big shoulders activated. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Let's go. Come on. Oh, come on. 
You've got this. No. Here we go. Push. Come on. And again. Oh. One. Ah, shit. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 rest. Good. I'll finish it. I'll sorry, finish it. Sorry. That's the rest. Oh, God. Just reset yourself. Drag them shoulders down. Stretch yeah. them back out. Come on. Stretch them out. You can do this. Three. Oh, come on. Two. One. No. Round two. Come on. Push. Come on. Push. Up. Yeah, okay. Oh, that'll be poor. Good. That's hard. It is hard, very it's hard. Fucking hard. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's an hard formula for training with, yeah. but when you get it, you, you, you'll do it. And where we was on about before, pushing your PBs and stuff like yeah. that. Try and PB with your reps now, yeah, not yeah. with your weight. You know. You I think, think once I finish this this uh, 12 weeks, I'll probably do like six weeks of strength, six weeks of volume, or yeah, maybe yeah. even was it uh, was it Neil Hill who did the three? So he did a strength week, an intermediate week, and then a high oh, right. rep week. Yeah. He said he said that that's what Flex uh, Lewis did, I think, for a lot of his training. Yeah. To save the joints and. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 Well, that's tough. That I really yeah. wasn't expecting it to be that hard. You just said there was two working sets on this, didn't you? Yeah, we got another set. Yeah. Oh. Twenty-five. <laughs> 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 Fucking hell! I've done two sets just getting that one. <laughs> so obviously your last, your last one. Yeah. You, you can drop the weight. It's up to you, or well, you can get out as many. No, as I, you I will want. do because I'll try and get twenty-five. So. Yeah. I'll probably pull that ten off. To be yeah. fair. Oh, sorry. Cool. Oh. I'll just I'll just say this now, state it on camera. I am not showing off. <laughs> <laughs> if you start winking at me again, not looking what I should do with it. <laughs> right. Well, if, you, if you just hold, hold my phone to me while right, I order some tea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Watch. Me. Set. Come, Paul. Yes. <laughs> come on. Good. Come on, push. Let's go. Yes. For the first time, I've got nothing to say. Nothing to say. Not showing off. <laughs> Not showing, Not showing off. off. <laughs> but volume training makes you fucking pump your balls out as well. I'm just a little bit out here, boys. <laughs> oh. So let's get that ten off. Yeah. Oh. Come on. Big twenty-five, 25 reps. Then, yeah. Here we go. Mm. Three, two, one, go. <coughs> Come on. Go. On, breathe. Go. On. Push. Keep going. Come on, push them here. That's it. In your shoulders. Come on. Again. Come on. Push. Good. Come on, finish it off. Oh, it's up as that, Paul. Oh, fuck yeah. Seven more, I think. <coughs> Just reset yourself. Stretch them shoulders forward. That's it. Oh. Push your chest out to get some blood pumping. I can hardly move my shoulders on the stretch. <laughs> tomorrow you're going to move your legs or <laughs> You best hope them legs out as tight tomorrow because <laughs> no. you're not been doing no off about it. <laughs> right, seven reps, come on. Come on, you can do oh. this. Five, come on. Four, and again. Three. Oh. Two. That's one. Up. Up. Ah. Yes, oh. good shot, oh. Hal. Good shot. Whew. Oh. How do you feel, Massive? Yeah, I feel full of love now. <laughs> oh. 
Christ. Two texts are out to you. It's a lot of volume. God, yeah. You're sweating, you know, but you feel fantastic. You do feel it. great. You feel yeah. mega good. Yeah. Sometimes you can come in and you can do some heavy sets. You don't even get a pump. No. You just sore. Yeah. You know, your fucking elbows are killing you, your joints are sore, your shoulders are sore. Whereas doing something like this, you feel pulled. I feel like pulled, but there's no joint ache or anything. No. Yeah. And even though you go to failure, yeah. you know, that was physical failure. You're not yeah. mentally failing because you physically no. couldn't do it anymore. But next time you'll push one further, one yeah. further. And then eventually you'll do the 10, 15, 20, 25 reps. Then you put your weight up, yeah. you reset again. Yeah. What have you got up to on this? What's your max? Uh, you could probably get 30s on 25s, I reckon. You don't want to know. You have more? 80 a side, I've done Sure, so. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it, no. Oh, yeah. No, in fact, no, not on this. That's on that. Oh, on the shoulder press? Yeah. I think we, I might, we might have even pushed 90s really? on that. I think we've done about 60 a side on this. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's good, that, mate. This is good shit. Good training. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm exhausted already. Two sets in. I feel completely fatigued, chest and shoulders. We're going to do some triceps now. Uh, some strength building triceps, so maybe EZ bar, or if Paul's got a machine he wants to take us on. Then we'll do a little bit of uh, back, finish off with some arms and uh, a few abs, and then that should be us done if I get to the end. We'll see. We'll see what tricks he's got up his sleeve for me. So we just do a tricep warm up first. Yep. Yeah. Obviously, triceps are pretty well for doing that yeah. chest, so you yeah. know, we have used them, they're not. Yeah. So, have you? Yeah, please, mate, yeah. 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 So, same, same again for this, are you? Yeah, we'll do a volume. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We'll do some volume on yeah, this, 50 great. key. Yep. Sounds good. Straight into a 15 wrapper. Yeah. Good. That's it. Good smash these, it's not heavy that. So obviously you try to burn so yeah. like a mother. Push through that burn. That's it. Good. Good. Feel that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Start bang banging some blood in it. Yep. 20 reps. 20 reps. Here we go. Yeah. Yep. More, com more confident on this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Once you've done your 15, you get a good guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm up right way too. Yeah. Can I have to do it? <laughs> Thing is, you try to so you know yourself, it burns. It burns out fast. It does, yeah. So, you've got to get it in. Yeah. It's surprising. You can be on like rep 12 and feel fine. Yeah. 13, it all changes very quick. <laughs> I think I think as well you can do that quite easy. I remember having about 30 second rest. Oh yeah. So yeah, I think yeah. that's where if it was like two, three minutes to recover would be miles, you'd be able to yeah. do it a lot quicker. So let's see. Come on. Come on. Yeah, anything 30 seconds up to a minute rest. Yeah. Is what I usually work from.
Ooh. Go on. Squeeze that last bit out. That's it. Go on. Good. And again. Oh, come on. Come on. Three. Push. Four. Push. Good. Oh, oh, this last one's going to be tough. No <laughs> it's going to be tough. No, no I didn't hear. No, especially when cameras are Oh, so, next set, 25. 25. Here we go, let's get it in our Let's, do it. let's do it. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Two, come on. Yes, one more. Take it. Go on. That's yes. easy. <laughs> Good set. Woo. Good set. Come on, you can do this. Oh. Let's get them burning. They're fucking burning still. <laughs> come on. Come on. That's it. We'll shoot that mental barrier, Kirk. Good. Good, come on. Squeeze, go. Good. Squeeze. That's it, come on. Squeeze. Go on. Said it'd be easy. Come on. Push. 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 Come on. Boo. Fuck it. Yeah. That's that. Well done. Well done. Oh god. Now you can feel. <laughs> yeah. Fucking hell. Oh, that's good. I completed one. I completed it. <laughs> <laughs> At least I can go home and say I did one complete set. So now we've done one, we're probably doing tricep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck it up. What do you say? Move on to back. Back next. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, whatever you want to do. Yeah, we're going yeah. to do a bit of lat pull down. I want to show Cook a little trick we're doing lats. Cool. So we'll go with these at this atlas grid. Okay. Fantastic. Can't program. say I've used this before. Yeah, they're brilliant. Absolutely perfect. It's got full moulded to your hand. You've got your thumb parts where it goes. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, a lot of people do this exercise wrong. Yeah. Obviously, it's a great exercise for your lats, for your width of your back. So, we tend to find a lot of people. Start here, yeah. over extension, yeah. Yeah? yeah? And they go, Ugh! Ugh! Yeah. they drag it down, yeah. yeah? Not even in the back, they're just gonna damage your bicep. Yeah. yeah. You do get a little bit of back out of it, but what we're trying to do here, we're gonna isolate this lat, yeah? yeah? So the start of this exercise, we're gonna drop these lats. Ready? So I've just retracted my lats back, yeah? Okay. So that's, that's, that's the end, the start Starting and the end. Point, yeah. yeah. So all we're going to do, it's a very short movement. We're just going to pull yeah. with our lats, right. yeah? Bring it down. So you'll feel all that weight in your back. Yeah. So you start off, we're going to retract them lats down. So you've got to bring them into a low position. When you're in that low position, that's when we work them. Got you. Let's have a go. Okay. So you, can, you can't lift as much weight. No. Obviously. You start dragging it and you, you lift full stack. So you, start on it, so you can't start on it here. Yeah, so drop these lats down. Oh, no, that's here. Feel that activation. Yeah, I got it. Good. Got it, got that's it. it. Now rep yeah. from there. Oh, yeah. Feel that? Yeah. So many easy exercises that people do wrong. You know, people bench wrong. They do lat pull down wrong. It's just a great grip, isn't it? Yeah. 
How many Paul? Uh, it's just a warm up. We'll just just two fifteen. Yeah, just we'll just start working them. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good that. Feel that difference massive, from that massive, from that yeah. activation. Massive. Ooh. It's good that. Okay, I can really feel that straight away. Yeah. yeah. So we've just gone up a little bit heavier. Yeah. We just jump straight into a 15 rep. So obviously with your back, you can see bicep come, comes into play. Yeah. So we want to try and isolate that bicep out as much as we can. Yeah. And that movement is my back pulling that weight. Yeah. yeah? That movement is my it's bicep biceps, pulling yeah. that weight. Yeah, so we want to try and isolate into this back yeah. as much as possible. Yeah. Yeah. So here we go. Let's get that back activation. <sighs> Getting into 10 reps and that burn comes onto your lap now. That's when you think, whoa, can I complete this? Pull. That's it. Good. That's it. I said to clients, try and grip my finger with your back. That's it. Good. Pull oh, <laughs> Depends which client it is. <laughs> Some of them do grip it as well. <sighs> so, how was that? It was good. Yeah. Get a great pump off it. Feel yeah, that. I've never looked at this. This is great positioning. Full set of bars off. Absolutely, half yeah. atlas strength. Yeah. Uh, the, there is another brand what do it, which is ridiculous idea, yeah. like Watson or something yeah, like yeah. that. These are fantastic. Yeah, no, it's nice. It's sure, fun. we're going to go into that 20 rep range. Yeah. Come on, go. Come on, come on. Safe. Good. Woo. So, over four sets, we're doing 70 reps. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can, you can do like what we've done and just pick a singular exercise or if you're doing if you're doing like a full chest workout you can use this routine for multiple chest exercises as well go on poo 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 fucking hell fucking hell see that full oh. activation because of your grip as well Fuck yeah, I'm feeling it my back, see ya. Yeah. Right here, mate. Oh, look back. Oh. Spasming. Oh. You're not driving back, are you? No. I never, like, I, I, I never drive anywhere. I've got crumbed. <laughs> <laughs> what are we on? 25. 25s. <laughs> here we go. Oh. <laughs> Little test of that oh. feature. <laughs> I knew what we were on. Here we go. <laughs> Come on. Whoa. Oh. Come on, Paul. Come. Come. Oh, come on, let's go. Hey. Yes, come on, Paul, let's go. Hey. Come on. Wow. Oh. That actually hurts. <laughs> it <does laughs> Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Great, great pump. Oh. Gonna send no pain, no gain. Yeah. Fucking hell, that should be massive. <laughs> <laughs>
What's your oh. date like? Spot on. You still, you still, you still vegan, vegan, plant based, aren't you? Vegetarian, yeah. Vegetarian, yeah. I'm oh, vegan for five years. Yeah. But I need eggs. I need, yeah. I need the amino acid profiling out of egg whites. Right, come on, 25. Here we go. Come on. Good. That's it. Come on, activate here. That's it. Good. Come on, you've got this. Come on, it's the last set. Everything you've got. Pull. Good. Come on, pull. Yes, Kurt. No. Go on. Oh. Fucking hell. Good shot, mate. Good shot. Well done. Oh. Too shy on that, but I feel me tendons just getting a little bit. Yeah, you, you do. You just do, getting a little bit uh, you do tighter. Feel that. Yeah. Oh, what's it, you too shy? Hey, too shy. Yeah. Oh, why have you stopped? I'm gonna get back on it. I'm not joking. Right, come on, give me two. Oh, let me. <laughs> <laughs> Stop fucking about. <laughs> there we go. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta finish it properly. <laughs> a mighty bicep. Yeah. Come on. Let's do it. Let's do this. Let's do it. <laughs> so we're, we're pretty warm. Back has obviously got us some bloody bicep. We'll just do a little warm up. Yeah. And then we'll work our way down. Yeah. <sighs> How many is that? Ten. Just ten, yeah. Just, just a little warm up. Same with this. A lot of people do this exercise wrong. They do a lot, of, lot of swinging. Yeah, this is where we want to pull. You've got big arms. Let's use them. That's it. It's just that big pull yeah. and squeeze. You can feel the blood going yeah. into the bicep. So, with, bi with bicep curlers, well, especially on this sort of machine, <clears throat> you can have a little play about with where your elbows go. Yeah. Whether they go to the front of you when you curl, yeah. just in front side. of you, or to the side. Yeah. yeah, you get different part of your bicep. Yeah. Where do you want to do it today? We'll do a, we'll do a fifth, we'll, we'll, we'll go to the front, but partials, right. yeah? yeah? We're not right out here, yeah, yeah. but we are to here. We'll go for a 15 rep range, yeah? Yeah. Whew. So it's just that pull and squeeze. Yeah. This again, you'll, you'll feel it in tendon. Yeah. You'll feel it in that bicep. I can feel tendon. it a bit after that back. Yeah. yeah. So. There we go. That's it, pull and squeeze. Good. That's it, good cut, good. Squeeze. Oh yeah, fucking yeah. hell. It's just about now you're glad you double scoot that pre workout, isn't it? Because <laughs> yeah. you just need that That's little after bit. the second exercise, I was glad I double scoot. You need that me. little bit left in yeah. tank for these last exercises. But you want to you wanna be attacking these yeah. like you like attack chest. Yeah. Yeah. You want to have that sustained energy release all the way through. Yeah. That's why your chemical warfare, the bomb, yeah. perfect product for it. Yeah. No crash, yeah. sustained energy all the way through it. Yeah. Oh. 20 reps? Yeah, 20 reps. Here we go. I'll do them slow so you get more rest. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, speed it, slow the, the film down as well. Oh, easy. Oh, 
Yes. Easy. Whoa. <laughs> Exploding. Saw that. Yeah. <sighs> Come on, let's get that blood in him. Let's do this. <sighs> two sets away from massive. <laughs> Come on. Good. Go on. Push through, Pat. Come on. Yes. Come on. So make most of it, sure go. Every rep. Come on. Good. Boom. Fucking hell. Yes. Good, good. Good. That's what they mean by the burn. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. Oh. Oh, jeez. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Big set left. Fuck you know. Big two five. Oh. Oh. Let's have a minute. Yeah. Oh, sometimes you need to drag that blood back yeah, out. Yeah, absolutely. You? Drag that blood back Five out. Five sets, you just get, I get such a good pump real quick. Yeah. Oh. Are we ready? Cool. Yeah, come on, let's, let's, let's get it done. Let's do it. Let's get it done. Let's do it. Give yourself a bit of room here, Dave. <laughs> Give yourself a bit of room with these bad boys. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Come on. Yes. Whoa. Whoa. Why is that popping through? No, we're pumped. Bloody hell. <laughs> oh, Come on. Do this. Dig deep. Come on, Draw that energy yeah. in. Come on. Three, two, oh. one. Here we go. Yes. That's it. Push through, push through. Don't even think about it. Yes, again. Push through. Come on. <laughs> Keep it coming. That's it, don't stop. Stop when you're finished. Come on. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Ah. Go on, Kurt. Ah. That's it, yes. Yes. Oh, fuck. Now you've had a power back, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's been sick, mate. brilliant, well oh. done. <sighs> Legs. Hey <laughs> 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 Jeremy. That was good. Oh. <coughs> How'd you feel? I feel absolutely. I was destroyed. Yeah. Yeah, can fucking completely fatigued. Yeah, Pumped. great, great. No, no, no sign of injury. No. Feel full. Yeah. You'll be sore tomorrow. I know. But, I know. Uh, now you've done it, you you, you know, you, you your body will expect that sort of yeah. punishment next time. Yeah. You go back to a traditional three sets of ten. Yeah. You won't even feel like you've lifted a weight. No. No, it's good that Paul. This is weightlifting, this is the art of bodybuilding. Yeah. This is what will get you in shape, yeah. 100%. Because yeah. you think how many reps we've done, how much work we've done, times that by the energy which you've used for doing the work, and you've just done a full cardio workout Absolutely. at the same time. Oh, I can feel that, I can't even talk. Brilliant. Just give me a few minutes to get my breath back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's good that, mate. Nice one, love that, brilliant. Love that, mate. Oh. You next, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. So uh, that ends episode six at Powerback Jim and Lee. I'd like to uh, give a massive thanks to uh, one of my good mates, Paul Crook, for uh, beasting me in that You're session. Welcome. My arms are absolutely on fire. Good session. Along with my back, chest, yeah, shoulders, and triceps. <laughs> uh, like I said, we've uh, been meaning to see each other for a while. COVID's affected the things, but it's been great being here today, Paul. Definitely. You've really motivated me to uh, to carry on with this journey. Brilliant. And what you've taught me today, I'm definitely going to use it 
Uh, not just for the fact that I felt amazing after it, but it's, it's the safety of my joints. Yeah. You know, and just the longevity of training, which uh, coming up to 40, I'm very conscious about. So, uh, massive thanks to this man. You're He's welcome. a big figure in the UK in British bodybuilding scene at the moment. And uh, I, look, I look forward to seeing you at the next show, you're judging, and uh, hopefully coming back to power back soon. Definitely, mate. I look forward to the end result. Thanks, pal. Good, Good training. Nice seeing you again.